So first of all, um, I'm going to try to upload an image on my new application here, OPSD. So what we're going to do is I created a tutorial on the YouTube forum. Uh, you can go to that and I'll put the link below. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is I want you to add the uploaded file class. This is going to help us manage a, our uploaded file. Just copy that and put that into the model. Uh, the second thing you're going to do is you're going to add a uh, variable in there. Let's call that image or uploaded image. I'll call it event image because it's an event system, but just call it image. And the third thing you're going to do is you're going to update the rules to handle that. Otherwise, the uh, model doesn't know what to do with it and it will not be saved or uploaded. So once that's done, I want you to look at point number four, which is how we're going to handle the model uh, and the controller. So you're going to create an action. Let's call that up upload. And basically, this is going to take a form and some variables and insert it into our model. So here, I've got the standard model, uh, this dot uh, load model. Um, that's standard, you'll see that in the controller. So don't put that last line delete there, that's an error uh, for my copy and paste, this is usually the problem. Then we're gonna create our um, form actions, which is basically checking if it's a post uh, on the line, and then we're gonna uh, set the model event image to the uploaded file get instance. So what uploaded file does is actually it handles all the work for us. So if you, if you put that there, it, um, Yi will search out for any uploaded image uh, with that name and then uh, create an instance of that. And then we're just going to put that and save it as our event uh, image. So this dot event image will now be accessible in the model. And then what I'm doing here is then doing the path. So the idea is when you do this, there'll be a temporary path where the image is located. Remember images are just bytes, right? And we're going to move this to wherever folder that we want accessible. So I'm moving it to my web slash images logo folder there. So as you can see, I'm running the command save as, and just to make things simple, I've also created a function called this call, uh, this full path that will actually give me a full path of that. So be mindful about the uploaded image. Uh, down here, I've not added any at app or at web. It seems to be just a direct uh, link there that will um, basically point to the web folder. It seems to be by default. I'll check this one out for you guys. But basically, that's just a path from the web folder. So save as seems to be smart enough to know that that's in the web folder. Then uh, here I've created a delete image. That's just when you want to remove it, use an unlink, check if the file is there and check that the path is based on the file path. So the file path, again, will be that path to the uh, unlink, okay? And if you get this error here, right, uh, called a temporary error, the this one here, that means that there's something wrong with your pathing. It can't find it, it can't refer to it. But what I've done is that I've um, fixed it so that it is just pathing. So make sure you just check the pathing. Pathing is the biggest problem when you're doing this. Uh, it can either be your uh, upload path or your save as path or your web path. So this is usually um, telling you that it can't find that path. So if, if the files are not updated, once you do that, create a form, right? Uh, in the form, in step six, you wanna make sure that you have the reference of uh, file type X in the corner. So just check the extensions here. What I'm doing is I am uh, I save the model and then I use the model ID as the file name. And I append the uh, extension behind. This is pretty common. And then um, again, keep a lookout for your pathing. So this is your direct server path. When you refer it to it on the uh, website, right? you're gonna use the at web because that's your uh, URL path, where this is the file path from the back end. Okay, so make sure you save that. Uh, check all your pathing. I've just wrote, written down some of this stuff. Let's give it a shot. Press the upload button, press the upload file, and bang, you can see that that's our logo over there. All right, folks, that's the bottom line because the technique said so.